Good morning and welcome to Journeying with Jane. I've spoken previously about how God's timing is amazing. Not only the timing, but the geography and places where events take place. Today is Monday Thursday and tomorrow is Good Friday. And Good Friday is the day when Christians around the world remember when Jesus was crucified on a wooden cross on the hill outside of Jerusalem. I've spoken before about the crucified lamb and how the times of the sacrifices of the lambs which were carried out by the priests in the temple of Jerusalem were crucial and the lambs had to be spotless and this is detailed in Exodus chapter 29 verses 38 to 39. The morning lamb was sacrificed on the altar at the third hour of the day and for us this would be about nine o'clock in the morning. And in that same time, Jesus was nailed to the wooden cross and lifted up and lifted high above Jerusalem. The evening lamb or the twilight lamb was sacrificed at the ninth hour or for us about three in the afternoon. And this was the same hour that Jesus died on the cross and yielded up his spirit. This was twilight and the sun was setting. The sun was sinking lower and descending in the sky. And as the sun was setting and sinking lower, the one who is the light of the world had died. Before 6pm, the body of Jesus was taken down from the cross by Joseph of Arimathea. And the timing again is important. For Jews, the end of one day started about 6pm and the start of the next day was at that time. And the following day on this event was Sabbath, which was a day of rest for the Jews. So they were in a hurry to take Jesus' body down and to bury him. And as they buried him in a tomb and sealed the tomb, the light of the world was now below the ground. And the sun had set and disappeared into the earth. And world events were about to change forever.